tips no one tells you about solo travel. Okay, number one, when you get up to leave anywhere, turn around and make sure you have everything. It's very easy to get distracted while you're traveling. Like, look at this gorgeous view. You're looking at the view. <laughs> you just don't think about all your stuff. You could leave behind your phone, something important. So just remember, it's very easy to get distracted. I want to emphasize that. Number two, plan your restroom activities. Um, I myself drink a lot of water and need to go to the bathroom quite often. Now in Europe, you've got to have your Euro ready to go to a public latrine. Um, Cause you're not going to get through the turnstile without paying it. Now, if you have to go badly and you don't know where your Euros are, oh man you got luggage so consider that um that you're not going to be able to maybe go when you want to because you can't leave your luggage with anybody um every once in a while i do do that um i was at the ritz carlton and i met these nice people from malibu and i could tell i could leave my computer with them they didn't want my computer they were um, staying at the Ritz. <laughs> um, so they, they're not going to take my stuff. You just get a feeling. We had a conversation. You can do it sometimes, but don't count on it. So just take your stuff with you. That's something that uh, you don't think about until you got all your stuff and you need to do something and you don't want to bring your stuff. You got to bring your stuff. Um, for safety and security. Okay. The next thing that no one tells you, because a lot of people don't travel solo and don't listen to people that travel in a couple or travel. They don't really know. They've got the protection of the other person. Um, when you're by yourself, uh, a good thing to do, uh, my son got me on this, that Life 360 app to let your loved ones know where you are, your location. That's actually a really good idea because um, then you know where they are, they know where you are. Maybe they need, maybe you need some help sometime. There's a check-in thing so that you checked into that place. Um, so that's something that's really important. You don't think about it until you realize, oh, nobody knows where I am. Now that can be a good thing. <laughs> I remember being in South America going, nobody knows where I am. This is so delicious. Um, but now I don't feel that way. I want my son to know where I am. You might want your loved ones to know where you are. And, um, oh, last one, most important one, trust your gut. I know I've talked about this before, but whether you call it your guardian angels, your intuition, praying, whatever you want to call it, it is in there and it will tell you, you don't need any logical, practical facts to back that up. If you get the feeling that it's not a good place to be, like this place is heaven, I feel completely safe here. Um, it's one of my most favorite places in the world, James Fitzgerald Marine Sanctuary. Um, trust it. Whenever I've not trusted it in the past, when I uh, didn't do it, I got in trouble. So something didn't, wasn't good that happened. So whether it's don't go down that street, don't talk to that person. Um, and here's another thing. When, last thing, when you're alone, especially as a woman um, in third and fourth world countries, you're going to get a lot of attention. Uh, people will want to marry you. <laughs> not because you're such a hot chick, but because they want to get out of the country. Honestly, I've been approached many times and I know. Um, don't fall for it. Oh, and they want you to loan the money. They'll give it back tomorrow. I've heard that one. Take me to your country. I heard that one during a massage in Nepal. I don't even know who you are. I'm just getting a massage. No, I'm not going to pay thousands of dollars to get you out of Nepal. No, thank you. Um, so you will be approached and 
be ready for it. Don't just blindly trust people because when I first started, I felt more like an ambassador for the USA. No, I don't feel that way anymore. I'm just a tourist. I'm just somebody exploring, but be careful. You can take these skills into your normal life and really be more safe and secure. Um, because I'm more cautious than when I first started because I trusted people more and now I don't. And I think that's better, especially when you're by yourself. Uh, make them, have them prove your trust. That takes, that could take years, months, but it doesn't happen in five minutes. Um, so there's gonna be people that will approach you. These are the people that want you to buy something, want you to be friends. Like that's not that normal. I mean, it's normal that it happens, but it doesn't mean that um, they really want to be your friend. It usually means they want you to do something for them. And this is my experience I've had after traveling in 35 countries by myself. So remember that. Um, sometimes I have people write me on my channel and go, oh, that's not how it is at all. It's like, oh, wait, you're from that country. So it's not going to happen the same way for you. When somebody from Colombia looks at me, they know I'm not from there. So immediately they go, ah, maybe I can get some money. Maybe I can make her, you know, I'm just, I'm not singling out Colombia on purpose, but it did happen to me there um, in many other countries where um, they don't always want to be your friend. They want to take advantage. So as long as you know that and you're as they call spidey senses <laughs> are operating at full tilt you'll be good i promise um things happen sure but you know in my 12 years of solo travel not a whole lot of bad stuff has happened to me quite frankly i got robbed once not too bad of a situation i got uh my mother's necklace back the police found it in a bush a guy uh, stole my purse right out of my bike basket as I was biking in Chiang Mai, Thailand. A place where everybody says, oh no, it's never going to happen. See, and that's another thing. Don't believe people, oh yeah, it's so safe there. Yeah, for them, because they live there. So people, they're not going to be as much of a target. As a tourist, let's be honest, you are kind of a target in a country where there's a lot of poverty or, you know, they just don't have the kind of uh, prosperity that we have in the USA and Australia and Europe. It's unknown to them. And once you really get that, then you don't have to be mad about it. It's just like, well, you know, there is desperation in the world and, um, and you wanna be safe. Um, so with that said, have a wonderful trip. Hey, if you have any questions about solo travel, um, I've written five books. Check out my books on Amazon. Make a comment here about any tip that you have found to work for you, and we can help a lot of people with that. So I'll see you in the next video.